Welcome to the video on linear sequences. Now sequences are just series of numbers that go one after the other. For example, 11, then 15, 19, 23, and 27. A linear sequence is one that has an even difference. So when we look at the difference between these numbers, we can see the difference between 11 and 15 is 4. The difference between 15 and 19 is also 4. Same with 19 and 23, and 23 and 27. This is going to be the first step whenever you see a sequence. You're going to look at what is the difference between each number. Because if you know the difference between each number, then we know how to write an equation for that sequence. So this video is about dealing with those sequences which have an even difference between their numbers. In this case, 4, 4, 4, and 4. In a different video called quadratic sequences, that's when we deal with different numbers down the bottom here. So once we know that we have the same difference between all of our numbers, our next step is to draw up a table. Now this has to have five different columns. An X column, a Y column, an M column, which we'll explain what that means in a minute, MX and C. Now let's start with this X column. The X column just means that you list the numbers 1 through to 5 every single time. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The Y column, on the other hand, you list your sequence. In this case, that's 11, 15, 19, 23, and 27. So we put those down the Y column next to our X's. The M is the difference that you've just found. So we know there's a difference of 4 between each of these Y numbers. We put this difference of 4 in the M column. There's a 4 difference between 11 and 15, a 4 difference between 15 and 19, 4 difference between 19 and 23, and 4 difference between 23 and 27. Now these should always be the same, and if they're not, you're going to use a different video on quadratic sequences to solve it. But for this case, let's look at the next column, MX. MX just means we take our M number, which in this case is 4, should always be the same, and multiply it by our X value. This 1, the 2, the 3, the 4, or the 5, depending on which row we're looking at. So in the first row, we're going to have 1, our X, times 4, our M, which gives us 4. In the next column, we're going to have our M, 4, times 2, which is 8. M, 4, times 3, which is 12. 4, times 4, which is 16. And finally, surprise, surprise, 4, times 5, which is 20. Now, the reason we need to find out M times X is so that we can get to this last column, which is C. So C is the difference between our MX column and our Y column. In our MX column in the top, we have a 4. And in our Y column, we have an 11. Now the difference between these two numbers is 7. We have to add on 7 to our MX to get back to our Y. So our C is 7. In the same way, if we look at our 8, our next one down, we need to add on 7 to get up to 15. So we put 7 in here. Our 12, we need to add on 7 to get to 19. 16, we add on 7 to get to 23. And at 20, we add on 7 to get to 27. Now, all of these C numbers should be exactly the same. If it's not, you might have made a mistake somewhere. Now, this is perfect. So our whole goal out of this table was actually to get this M column and to get this C column so that we can put it into our very famous Y equals MX plus C equation. Now, if you haven't learned this equation by now, it's a really good time to memorize it. Y equals MX plus C. This formula is important for linear sequences because now that we know what our M is and we know what our C is, we can just plug these numbers into the formula and it gives us our answer. So let's look. We take our M, which is 4, and we put it in where M is on the formula, making it Y equals 4X plus C now. Then we take our C value of 7, and we put that in in the formula instead of C, because now we know that C is 7. That gives us now Y equals 4X plus 7. Now this Y and the X, we always leave. Y and X just means the Y and X axis on a graph. So we just leave them exactly where they are. And this, Y equals 4X plus 7, is our answer to our linear sequence. So what you need to know from this video, you need to know, first of all, that you have to draw a five column table with X in the first column, with Y in the next column, M, MX, and finally with C. The second thing you need to know is that you fill the X column with one, two, three, four, five, as many numbers as you have. Once you've done that, we're gonna fill the Y column. We fill this with the terms of our sequence. 
So in the last example, that was the 11, 15, 19, 23, and 27. This M column is the difference between our Y's. We had a difference of four between each of these Y values. Then we move on to our MX column. This is where we get into a little bit of maths now. Now we multiply this M value, which should all be the same, by our X value. So that's four times one, four times two, four times three, four times four, four times five. And we put these ones in the MX column. Now finally, to get our C, we need to look at the difference between MX and what we need to do to get back up to Y. So in the previous example, we needed to add on 7. So adding on 7 to each of these MX numbers gets us back up to Y. So therefore, our C was 7. Now just note that the C could also be negative. If we had an MX value of 14, say, instead of 4, we would have needed to take away 3 to get to Y and C would have been negative 3. So that can be negative. This M value can be negative as well. If your sequence was going down instead of up, down by 4 every time, then your M would be a negative 4. So both of these have the potential to be negative, they're just not in this example. So once you've drawn this table, once you've filled in all of your columns, you must, you must remember the formula Y equals MX plus C because you're going to plug in your M and you're going to plug in your C. Once you've plugged in these two numbers, you're going to have your answer. So in this case, remember, we plugged in our M of 4 and our C of 7. And there was our answer. Let's look at a question now. So Joe grouped marbles together into groups. Each group had a different number. The first had 4, the second had 11, the third had 18, the fourth had 25, and the fifth had 32. We need to write an equation which models this pattern. Hey, it's a sequence, so if we write out these numbers, we're going to have a sequence of numbers. What's the first thing that we do? We write out our five column table. Now hopefully you remember what goes in the X column. It's our numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We always put these numbers in the X column. Now in our Y column, if you remember, we put our sequence. Now they don't give us a really nice sequence of numbers, they've just told it to us in words. But we still put these numbers in our Y column. So here, the first number is 4, the second is 11, the third is 18, the fourth is 25, and the fifth is 32. So we just list these numbers down in our Y column. Now M. M, I'm hoping you recall, is the difference between each of our Y values. So the difference between 4 and 11 is 7. The difference between 11 and 18, well that's 7 as well. 18 to 25, we plus 7, and 25 to 32, we've got to add 7 as well. So our M is 7. And this should always be the same number. Once you've worked out the first one, just do the others to check. Next comes our MX column. Our MX column is our M, which is 7 in this case, times by our X values, our 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5. So our 7 times 1 gives us 7. Our 7 times 2 is 14, times 3 is 21, times 4 is 28, and times 5 is 35. Now what we need to do is look at our MX and what do we need to do to get back to Y. Now in this case, we need to take away 3. So 7 take away 3 gets us to Y. So we have to put a minus 3 in the C column. 14 take away 3 gets to 11. 21 take away 3 equals 18. 28 take away 3 is 25. And surprise, surprise, 35 take away 3 equals 32 as well. So we have our C value of negative 3 and an M value of 7. Now, our famous equation Y equals MX plus C. Remember that all we need to do is put our M value of 7 into our equation where M is, because M is 7. And in the same way, instead of C, we need to put our negative 3 or our minus 3 in there, because C is minus 3. So putting M in instead of 7 gives us Y equals 7X plus C, and we know what C is, it's minus 3, so it gives us Y equals 7X minus 3. And that is our answer. That's the equation which models our pattern.